Uh, this is more for us guys right now. I want, I want to address the men right now. If it hasn't happened to you yet, it is going to happen to you. There's one time you are going to be uh, enjoying your time with your wife. And that erection is going to all of a sudden just no longer be there. It could be after you have an orgasm or you ejaculate. Or it could even be before that. And it just dies. And you're going to be like, you are going to be freaking out. Especially if it's never happened to you before. It's like, wait, what's going on? And the more you're panicking, obviously the worse it's going to get. Because now it's really not going to stand up. Um, it's amazing. I think that's when a lot of times you realize and you understand the connection between your mind and your body. It's when you have that moment of erectile um should i call it dysfunction but it's going to happen so the question is what do you do when that happens how do you address that situation because it's not a matter of if it's a matter of when hi guys welcome to love marriage sex we are tia and tia uh i think it's happened to me a couple of times and and now, when you say it happened to you, are you trying to say like after um, coming? Yes. That so for dying after, down yeah. because you feel that is a very you're making it look like it's something that is no. This thing happens all the time. When you come, you die down. You don't die down. That doesn't mean that that's a normal thing. You're abnormal. Yeah. You yeah. die down, then come back again. Okay. People that do exercise are the ones that actually stay up even after. It's weird though. Regular, yeah, it's, it's not. Blood flow yeah, blood flow. So if you are always having issues, uh, I mean, if you're always having issues, <laughs> issues of not dying down after coming, <laughs> so, <laughs> so that many men will not think it's an issue. When you come, it goes down. Yeah. Because that's a relief. And then when you come down, you go up. Mm -hmm. But the people that when you come and it's still standing, it's an issue. Don't make What's them that? feel no, it is an issue. Don't make people that <laughs> have not um that have, that died down feel like that's the issue. You are okay. the one that have no, an that issue. Was, that, that definitely was not the point. That's not <laughs> that's not what I was trying to get across. All I'm saying is that, and that's why I said it could be while you're doing it that it just dies down it could be after you ejaculate that it dies out it could be somewhere in the middle like yeah. there's there's no time or phase that it cannot happen yes That's, okay i made we that got very it. clear we like, got right it guys beginning, right? okay. i had to be an advocate for those that for, is for, that. for those that are normal yes mm -hmm. okay. yes all right so how do you address that issue when it comes up i think um a lot of times i know for me the first time i was like okay i was trying to come up with a reason right or an excuse why it happened i don't remember what i said but it was just like okay give me my credit please where i deserve it what was the credit again yes you, you told me that it was not a big deal right i don't want your explanation you don't need an explanation right like there's nothing to explain which helped a lot but you know that ego is like wait i've never had this happen before so okay i've got to come up with a reason why this happened so i think the best thing that you can do is well having a wife that is understanding goes it's, it's very very helpful honestly it's a blessing because i think it takes both you um calming down and not freaking out and then also your wife actually just understand like hey like that's this is not a big deal this is not an issue this like, is natural why are we even why are we even having this conversation you know like now it's different if it's happening all the time then yes you want to come back and talk about it maybe there's something else going on but if it's something that happens once in a while like it's perfectly okay it's normal like it's actually supposed to happen so um not freaking out is i think thing number one and then also understanding that your wife can actually still have and you as well can still have an awesome sexual experience even if you're not fully aroused or engorged or erect yes that is my place i tend to see how women are always um talking about little penises big penises erectile penises are good however this is one thing i always tell people even with penises that are not erected you can enjoy your your sexual experience how so like exactly i'm like somebody be like huh what's this one saying what does she know yes i say i said it again and i'm going to say it again i mean 
you can enjoy sexual experience with an unerected penis how allow yourself to touch yourself during sex touch yourself during sex if you feel it's masturbation i'm sorry for you i don't have any explanation i don't have anything to say to you take care of yourself there and the man should also do other things alongside however i have found out in my own body maybe it only works for me that even the unerected um sex when you rub around you your clit and everywhere it is so pleasurable mm. and i'm telling you today so do not as a woman do not start trying to like oh my god it's not hard it's a mental thing again enjoy the moment stop going out of that space and trying to solve a situation yeah. enjoy every moment erected though not erected or refuse to follow yeah you just know, enjoy every moment of it and stop thinking it's also taking your sexual experience to a whole new level that you haven't experienced before where you're graduating from penetrative sex to yes. actually still having an awesome sexual experience without actual penetration because again like you said just even that genital to genital contact mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. has an intense way of making things happen to your body that you could never have imagined before you know and so rewind your mind or wiring your mind to think differently and to understand that there are other avenues like several roads lead to rome it's not just one road um it's something that would help and benefit you and your partner you and your husband or your wife at the end of the day and you're not only going to have a pleasurable sex you can have an orgasm orgasm right. with an unerected without with that just that penis rubbing around yeah. you you can have an orgasm i promise you that is the problem anxiety tension worries take away that orgasm yeah. experience so the moment you put it out of the way the easier and better the faster it is for you to enjoy or achieve orgasm with things that come the extra things that come your way during sex this is my opinion i tried it <laughs> we've tried we've it experienced it so um give it a try if you've had a situation where again um the penis was just not erect and you guys were freaking out about what to do there's so many ways to still have an awesome experience so um don't knock it till you try it don't knock it till you don't try it try it works it works it works mind over matter please let us know your comments if you've had this experience and you're bold enough to share it in the comment section bold enough please let us know would love to hear it um subscribe click on the notification button did i forget something else like please like, like if you, the more you engage the more we're growing and we want to appreciate each and every one of you that is posting stuff messaging yeah. us thank you so much we appreciate you and we'll catch you at a later video bye bye it's Dia. It's Dia. It's Dia. It's Dia.